here's an example of how the serial terminal works. So we see the cursor up here. That's for uh, input and so forth. So if I go to the modes key and I put it in local mode, we can type this is a test. Whoops. Test. That kind of thing. Um, and uh, just to show you what the screen generally looks like, I will run a self-test here. So what we do is, let's put this back in remote mode. And then we're going to go to the system screens. And we're going to pick, and this, what I'm doing is all these keys along here on the top row are, what are called function keys or service keys. I'm going to press F3, which corresponds to the service keys uh, tab here. And it's going to show me these change. So I have terminal tests, identify the ROMs, which uh, define the personality of the terminal, run port 1 test, run port 2 test. So what I'm going to do is just say run a terminal test. And it's going to say down here testing. So it's off doing its thing. If you watch the top of the screen here, it's basically going to spit out. A bunch of characters. Okay, so that just showed uh, all the characters that are implemented in this uh, terminal here. Various control characters like ink, act, uh, control, uh, null, that kind of thing. Uh, any special characters you may have for foreign languages and so forth. And so this terminal actually has uh, this uh, 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 data entry forms character set here so you can draw, draw forms on the screen that a data entry clerk can use to fill in um, and so forth. We also have uh, blinking, inverse video blinking, or inverse video, inverse video blinking, underline, underline blinking, inverse video, underline, inverse video, underline blinking, and this is um, uh, half dim, I forget what this is called here, and then the ID codes uh, for the ROMs and so forth. So when I press the Identify ROMs button, it's going to tell me what version of the firmware I have and so forth. So this is how uh, users would interact with, with the 3000. There, in very early 3000s, there was batch capability through punch cards, but the 3000 was really designed to be a, a high-performance time-sharing system, um, and that's what it really excelled at. So this is the, the way that users interacted, got information into the system, and out of the system was through uh, these terminals.